Hi, welcome to Harmony with Sulin. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add shading to your characters using highlight and tone to make your characters pop. The asset you'll need is a character animation or a single drawing of a character design. So let's start. I have my colorful character, Sebastian the Chameleon, that I've already rigged and animated and grouped. I'll connect a bitmap composite under the character group that connects to the main composite. Hit enter to bring up the node library and type in apply peg transformation. You can use the apply peg transformation node to apply a transformation on a single drawing node or a group of nodes by taking the connector from the character composite and attach it to the image port of the apply peg transformation node. Add a peg to the apply peg transformation transformation port, name it, and set the rotation point. Next, let's add a highlight node. Select the character composite or single node and hit return for the node library. Type in highlight and attach it under the composite. Take a connector from the output port of the apply peg transformation. Attach it to the mat port of the highlight node and invert mat. Select the Apply Peg Transformation peg and move the position of the character image using the Translate tool. Move on the arrows to lock the X and Y axis. Let's take a look. You'll only see the effect in the render view. Open the layer properties of the highlight node. We can see Radius. Let's push that up to 8 to soften the edges of the highlight and give it a feathered or blended look. Intensity at 2 will take the value higher and make a brighter highlight. Multiplicative works by selecting complementary colors. For example, if you want a yellow highlight, you would select a blue color. When you select multiplicative, the intensity works in the negative numerical value. So 0.8 will make a brighter highlight. To add tone, we can repeat the same process. Connect a tone node. Let's add another apply peg transformation. Add a peg, invert matte and use the translate tool to move the character image. The tone can be positioned opposite to the highlight to give that solid drawing appeal or to give your design 3D-ness. You can add the highlight and tone system to just the pieces of your character you want, but you'll need to make a character breakdown. Check out my tutorial on rigging the arm for more details on how to make a character breakdown. If you want to add hand-drawn highlights, we can keep the highlight node we have attached. Instead of using an apply peg transformation, we add a new drawing, name it, add a peg and the rotation point, connect it to the character peg with a parent peg so it follows along. Choose the pencil and any color, it won't matter as the highlight node is scripted and creates an alpha and you can adjust color later. You can paint on bespoke highlights frame by frame. You might want to create a five frame boil effect. This can be time consuming, but the effect will look like boiling we see in traditional drawn animation. And that's it for shading using highlights and tone. Check out my compositing playlist for more tips to make your animation look cinematic. See you next time.